Hey, Dr. Rick Wallace, the following segment is brought to you by Inbox Dollars. Inbox Dollars is actually something that I used a long time ago when things got really hectic and I needed some income to steady me until I recovered and got some things done. Uh, you're not going to get rich by it, but if you're looking to make some extra money, Inbox Dollars is exactly what you need to check out. Look, you can get paid for taking surveys, opening emails. Uh, and a bunch of other different things. The link to find out how you can do all of this is in the box. It's free to find out, free to sign up. Check it out. I'm out of here. Hello, everyone. It's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And I'm here with a little conversational piece about karma. <laughs> It's about karma and it's about what, what you put out, you will get back one day. Uh, so that's what this video is about. I wanted to just remind people of the karma that they're putting into their lives, whether they know it or not, it's going to happen. If you haven't done so already, please click and subscribe on my channel. I would greatly appreciate it um, so that you can get more informative, real videos and uh, important topics that affect our communities every single day. So this one is about karma. I brought up karma because I think somebody have it all twisted. Um, let me bring up a scenario or an example of, like, say for instance, I'm I have a Creole back background. So in other words, uh, my father's side of my family comes from Opelousas, Louisiana. So there have been like folk tales or whatever about Louisiana people knowing voodoo and all these things, and, and that we can put voodoo on you. Uh, if we you know we study in or whatever and uh I, I believe that some people chooses to practice voodoo and chooses to um commit harm against people that may have committed harm against them i believe that that's factual but not all of us do so and so i've been hearing a little uh i've been having my ear to the street and i've been getting like a little few comments about uh people that have wronged me have come to say well dang you know there's so much going on in my life. There's so much bad going on in my life. I'm wondering if, um, you know, somebody's put voodoo on me. And I'm here to tell you today, right now, I know you're watching my videos because you can't help but to stalk me because you believe because you won't help me that I'm going to fail. And I'm here to tell you that that's a lie from Satan. I will, I will advance and I will succeed in this life because first of all, I honor and I serve God and he's above all things and all, all creation. So I'm going to be just fine. Whether you, whether you've decided to help in my plight or not, I'm going to be absolutely okay. I have no reason whatsoever to do any ill will towards my enemies or my other people that I have the people that I chose to pour love into and to encourage and love and nurture and they've decided to spit on me and hurt me and do whatever wrongs they felt like they need to do vengeance is mine said the Lord I forgive and I move on and, and you're like a second thought in my mind I have no reason to want to wish anyone bad because I don't want nobody wishing me bad so I forgive others and I move forward and I pour all that energy into people that pour energy into me. I pour energy into people that appreciate me, people that actually like me. I never understood people that stay around people for the wrong reasons. I never understood that. If I don't like you, you'll never see me. If I don't like you, you'll never hear from me. You know, because I'm straight up like that. I'm real. I don't pretend with anyone. I can't pretend. First of all, my facial expressions would give it away. My son, CJ, he has the same thing. And I'm like, can you tone your face down just a little bit until we get past this person? But he, he can't pretend, and neither can I. He get that from his mother. He cannot pretend around people. If he ain't feeling you and he know your energy ain't right, you're going to see it all on his face. Well, that's just like I am. I cannot pretend around people. I won't pretend around people. That's why I stay away from people that I don't like or I feel like has caused me harm and don't like me. I do away with them because... 
I feel like we cannot put our energy into things that are dead. A lot of things that has come into our lives, and not, this is going out to everybody. And I'm a little hot here. I'm going to cut this up just a little bit. Um, but there's a lot of things that that uh, we've brought into our own lives. I won't say God brought them into our lives because I don't believe God does anything to harm us. I believe it's because of our own decisions and our own choices in lives. We brought people into our lives that had no place on being there, but there may have been some lessons that we needed to learn with those people so that we can grow and be the people that God really created us to be. So I believe that a lot of stuff that we go through, the pain, the situation, the turmoils, uh, are based pretty much off of the decisions that we chose to make as human beings. Again, because God has given us all free will. But it had nothing to do with God trying to punish us. That's We punished ourselves. So I feel as though once you get over punishing yourself and you start making the right decisions, and you start moving people out of your life, then it's going to be a lot of backlash off of that because people are going to say you're fake or you're phony or you're doing all these things. Uh, but because they don't know the person that God has changed you and evolved you to. So for them, you're not the real self because they're stuck in their forever person. Like that's who they're going to be forever. There is no changing in them because they won't allow God to change them. Then when they see you changing, then you're fake or you're phony because they're stuck in their forever person. No, I'm not gonna ever be a forever person. I'm gonna always be evolving and changing for the better. And so I encourage other people to do the same thing. But this whole video is meant for karma. And I don't care how good you believe you are. If you've wronged somebody and you've hurt somebody and caused them to cry or you caused them harm, you have to know one day, even if it doesn't come from them, it's gonna come from someone else. So then instead of you believing the person that you hurt the most, that you tried to destroy the most, is the person that has all this negative energy coming at you, what if that person has forgiven you and they've moved on and so their life, their life, livelihood is being elevated because they're serving God, not man, not you. They're serving God. So they're being elevated and you're still stuck on 20, 30 years ago. That person ain't thinking about you. If there is some bad karma going on in your life, that could possibly be from a host of other people that you've wronged or you, you've shitted on. Excuse my French. It doesn't necessarily have to be from the person that you think is thinking about you. Because I guarantee you, anybody that's productive and they're moving onward and upward, they're not going to hold grudges. They're going to let those things go and they're going to move forward in their lives. And then that positive energy is going to catapult them into their destiny. Their God-given destiny cannot be stopped by an enemy or a foe. It can't be stopped. So I'm, I'm here to encourage everybody out there today. If you ha feel like you have a lot of enemies, or you feel like a lot of people are is throwing a lot of backlash out, don't worry about them. You keep rising. You keep rising to the top and you do right. No matter how harmful somebody has hurt you, you have to forgive them. Not for them, but for you. So that you can keep going and moving in the place that God wants you to be versus worrying about the person that did you wrong or, or or messed you over. You have to let that go, man, so your heart can be free and it can be open so that you can meet the right people and start bringing the right people and attracting the right people in, in your life. So that's what this video is about. I may have went around it the wrong way, but I wanted to get my message out. A lot of people think some of the bad things are happening to them because somebody's putting a spell on them or because it's voodoo. No, it's actually your car karma coming back to bite you in your ass because you don't believe in nothing and no one. You only serve yourself, period. That's just it. I mean, I always say in many of my videos, God made this world in order. There's a certain order he wants this world to operate in. Once we step outside that order, all bets are off. He doesn't owe you anything, nothing. And so remember that the next time you wanna hurt somebody or mistreat somebody or throw or cast aside somebody, always remember with God, there's order. Without God, there's chaos. So now you're functioning in that world of chaos and you want somebody to blame. How about blaming yourself? Because you made those choices and you made those, those decisions to hurt the good people or to hurt whatever people that was put into your life to maybe possibly elevate you. You chose to hurt them because that's all you've ever known. You don't know how to love because it was never taught to you. 
the people around you that brought you up didn't know how to love. In order to know how to love, you got to believe in something, something bigger than you. You have to know there's a whole uh, universe that you've never even experienced because you refuse to learn how to love and you refuse and you refuse to repent and turn away from your sins and do right by people. That uh, that won't ever be me. Sorry, it won't be me. Whoever decide to hurt me or walk away from me, I forgive you and let you move on. And I'm going to keep moving. And I'm going to keep pressing on and doing the work that God has called me to do. Living in my purpose. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, there's no ill will. There's I don't know any voodoo. I don't practice voodoo. I love God. I serve God wholeheartedly. I get, I'll give my last to people. I forgive them the people that hurt me. But there are some people that I have cast away from me because they're no good to me. They're no good to me. They were sent in my life to distract me, to destroy me, and to, to see me down. You guys have to understand, there are some people around you right now today that don't like you. They can't stand you, but they want to have a sneak peek of what you got going on so they can pray, P-R-E-Y, against what you got going on. That's why you got to learn how to shh, zip it. God is blessing you tremendously, and I'm not saying that you don't have to share it, because we should share some things, but don't tell it all because you gotta know, you got more foes watching you than you do have friends. So some things you gotta keep quiet until God brings it all into full fruitation. Stop telling everything. Stop trying to prove yourself to people that couldn't give a damn about you. And, and, and focus on, on proving yourself to God. Shh, learn how to be silent. Again, karma, it doesn't discriminate. Whatever you put out in the universe, whether you believe in God or not, whatever you put out there, you're going to get it back. Stop blaming one person for something that you're going through when you know you've you've hurt a host of people, a whole group of people. You probably can't even number how many people you done shitted on and messed over. And, and, and so you don't know where that karma's coming from. That's your problem. That's your problem. You're going to have to deal with it. But I tell you what, it's still not too late for you. It's still not too late. If you repent, you ask for forgiveness, you forgive yourself, you forgive others, then there's still opportunity for you to get beyond all of that hatred, all of that pain, all of that malice, that darkness that you have in your heart that was planted, in you, planted inside of you years ago before you even met some of these people that you decided to hurt. That's not their fault. You got to deal with that deep inner man and woman so that you can become whole and you can stop hurting people. So you don't have to worry about somebody trying to do you dirty uh, because you've done them dirty. Because your conscience is clean and your heart is clean and your heart is pure. And that's why we operate over here. I don't hold on to grudges. I want my heart to be pure. That way God can still pour into me and then I can in return pour out to other people, to encourage other people, to bring other people up. That's the whole point of restoring ghettos forgotten because there's a whole group, a whole ethnicity group that has been forgotten and marginalized and tossed aside. And I'm here to encourage us and empower us to bring us up out. That's my purpose. And so again, Stop saying it's voodoo. Stop saying because, you know, Creole people, some Creole people may know voodoo, but not all of us do. And, and, and if we serve God, we can't dwell in that. So it's not voodoo. It's your karma that's coming around, biting you back in your ass for everything you've done wrong to people. Now it's time for you to take an inventory and think about all the people you've ever hurt and shitted on and forgot about, even your own seeds. The, the, the children that you brought into this world. Think about how you were never there for them. That's what you deal with. Focus on that. And stop focusing on somebody that's forgotten you a long time ago. Okay, I'm done with my soap opera, but I wanted to put that out there because I know I'm not the only one that's heard. When people start uh, experiencing a lot of detrimental stuff that they can't come back from, they want to always say, somebody done put a, a spell on them, a voodoo. No, darling, that's called karma. It's just knocking at your door now, and now you got to pay the piper. That's it. Okay, for everybody else, I want to let you guys know that I love you, and I don't care how much somebody hurts you, always choose the higher road. You may feel like an idiot. Sometimes I choose the higher road so much, I'm like, what am I doing? These people are shitting on me. 
and I still choose to bless them because I can't help how God made my heart and I'm not going to change it for nobody. So then God will show me, he'll reward me with something and say, see, that's because you didn't get vengeance on that person or you forgave that person or you smiled at that person when they frowned at you. That's why you're being rewarded because you choose the heart of Christ. You choose the heart of God and that's to forgive people, not to keep them around and keep hurting you. Cause there's some people, like I say, I've done away with, I'm done with them. Done. I can pray for, pray for you from a distance, but after you've hurt me repeatedly time and time again, I'm done. I can't even communicate with you because you're looking for an opportunity to pounce one more time on me and I can't give you that opportunity. So I encourage the people today that may be experiencing a negative situation and I won't be longer. You're around somebody that wants to hurt you every single day. I encourage you to get a pull from the power that God has already put inside of you to get away from that person because that person was sent to destroy you. There is no love. There is no care. There is no concern. It's only deceit, lies, and manipulation. And I'm challenging you today to start loving yourself, the beautiful self that God created you to be. And it is not attached to anybody else validation. It's from God. I'm here to tell you that you're beautiful and that he loves you and he only wants the best for you. It's time to walk away. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Always put God first. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.